From the Life of Henry V by William Shakespeare, Act 4, Scene 1. From the Life of Henry V by William Shakespeare, Act 4, Scene 1. Indeed, the French may lay twenty French crowns to and they'll beat us, for they bear them on their shoulders. But there's no English treason to cut French crowns, and tomorrow the king himself will be a clipper. <laughs> 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 Upon the king, let us our lives, our souls, our debts, our careful waves, our children, and our sins lie on the king. We must bear all. O oh, hard condition, twin born with greatness, subject to the breath of every fool whose sense no more can feel but his own ringing. What infinite heart says must kings neglect, but pray that men enjoy. And what have kings, but privates have not to save ceremony, save general ceremony? And what art thou, thou idle ceremony? What kind of god art thou that sufferest more mortal griefs than do thy worshippers? What are they rents? What are they comings in? Oh, ceremony, show me what they worth. What is thy soul of adoration? Art thou Aucht else but class degree and form, creating our own fair in other men, wherein thou art less happy being fair than thine fairing. What drinks thou oft in steed of homage sweet but poison flattery? Oh, be sick, great greatness, and bid thy sermon I give thee cure. Thinks thou the fairy favour will go out with titles blown from adoration? Will it give plas to flexure and law bending? Canst thou, when thou commandst the beggar's knee, command the health of it? No, thou proud dram, but ply so subtly with a king's repose. I am a king not fain thee, and eke now tis not the bond, the scepter, and the ball, the sword, the mass, the crown imperial, the intertissue, the robe of gold and peril, the farsed title running for the king, the throne he sits on, nor the tide of pomp that bets upon the hate shore of this world. No, no, not all theirs, there is gorgeous ceremony. Not all theirs, lied in bed majestical, can sleep so soundly as the wretched slav, who with a body filled and vacant maimed, gets him to rest crammed with distressful bread, never sees or at night, the child of hell. Would like a lucky from the rays to set sweats in the air of Phoebus, and all night sleeps in Elysium. Next day after dawn, doth raise and help Hyperion to his horse, and follows saw the ever running year with profitable labor to his grave. And but for ceremony, such a wretch winding up dies with toil and nights with sleep at the forehand and vantage of a king, the Slav. Member of the country's pass enjoys it, but in gross brine little watts, what watch the king keeps to maintain the pass was o'er's the peasant's best advantages. Uh, 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 Lord, you nobles, jealous of your absence, seek for your come to find you. Good old knight, collect them all together at me tent. I'll be before thee. I shall do it, my lord. God of battles, steal me soldiers' hearts, possess them not with fear, sack from them now the sense of reckoning, if the posit numbers pluck their hearts from them. Not to die, O oh Lord, O oh, not to die, think not upon the fault, me father mad, encompassing my crown. A Richard's body hath interred new, and on it have bestowed more contrary tears than from it issued forced drops of blood. Five hundred poor, I have in year lay pie, who twice a die their withered hands hold up toward heaven to pardon blood. And I have built two chantries where the sad and solemn priest sings still for Richard's soul. More will I do, though all that I can do is nothing worth. 
Since that me penitence comes after all, imploring pardon. Uh, me liege! Me brother Glusser's voice. Hey! Ignore the errand. I will go with thee. The die, me friends, and all things die for me. If you liked this video and want to help me make more things like it, consider making a pledge at my Patreon account.